Hey there everyone, Indru here and today I'll show you how you can add video overlays to images in Photoshop. In my previous video, I created this fantasy photo manipulation and on my Instagram, I posted this image with a particles overlay. So some of you asked me whether I did that in Premiere Pro or After Effects or in Photoshop. And I think by now you already know that I love animating in Photoshop. So I did that obviously in Photoshop. And today I'll show you how I did that. So let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and I have opened my previous fantasy photo manipulation image, Light the Way. By the way, if you want to see how I created this fantasy photo manipulation, please feel free to check out the video, the link should be in the description section. Alright, but before getting started, I'll highly recommend that you reduce the image size because if you do not reduce the image size, the size of the final project or the final video after the animation will be pretty large. So let's go to image, image size and let's take it down. I'll reduce the resolution and also the width to maybe around 1080 pixels. I'll click OK. Now since this is an animation, we definitely need our timeline. To bring up our timeline, we need to go to window and timeline. Next we need to create a video timeline, but if this is a frame animation, you can simply expand this drop down menu and select video timeline from here and then click the button to get your 5 seconds default animation timeline. Now let's add our particles. So the particles that I used was downloaded from vidEasy. You can again find the link in the description section. To add our particles, we will simply select file and then place embedded. We can also select place linked, but this will create a reference to your file in your folder system in your system. So if the original file somehow gets changed, you need to update it here as well. So we will select place embedded and look at our video overlay and select place. Now you can adjust it like any layer transform operation. I'll simply rotate it and scale it so that it fills my entire canvas and then click this tick mark to commit the changes. Now as you can see this video file is very long and it exceeded our 5 second animation timeline. So I'll just zoom out here a bit and then to fix it I'll simply drag this end of the video overlay and match it with the 5 second timeline. Done. Now like any layer operations, we can change the blending mode to linear dodge and also we can right click and select blending options and we can tweak here and there with the blend if section. I'll change it here in this layer slider. I'll hold alt or option on the keyboard and drag it to the right so that all of the black areas become invisible. And here we are. Let's click OK. And we are actually done. So make sure inside the settings icon you have loop playback checked and let's play the animation and see what we have got. So this is how you can very easily add any videos to your still images in Photoshop. But up until now you can see that the animation is chopping off at the 5 second end point so we'll fix it and make the transition smooth. I'll stop the animation. And to add that smooth transition, I'll duplicate this video layer, make two copies of it and add one second crossfade in between those two layers. I'll just zoom out so that more of the timeline is visible. And then I'll drag the end of the video overlay and drag it to around 6 seconds. You can see it here. It's showing the end you can see. And I'll increase and keep it to 6. And now I'll duplicate the layer. I'll right click on the layer and select duplicate layer. So now we have two copies. I'll zoom out further and then I'll drag my timeline marker and place it at the middle point of our timeline. So we have a 5 second animation and our frame rate is 30 frames per second. You can check it from here. Click this flyout menu and select set timeline frame rate and you can check that it's 30 frames per second. So the middle point of our animation will be 2 seconds and 15 frames. So you can see that the timeline marker is at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Now what we need to do is we need to select the first copy of our video overlay, drag it and match the end of the video overlay to the middle point of the timeline which is pointed by the timeline marker and also drag the top copy and drag and place it just after this first copy. 
make sure you again set your work area to 5 second which is the animation that we are creating right now. Now we need to apply a crossfit. Our transition menu is here. Simply click it to expand the list of transitions. Drag crossfit and place it just in between these two video overlays. And you need to make sure that the transition is one second. You can simply select the transition, right click and make sure it's one second. Now hopefully this should be done. Let's play the animation and see what we have got. So it's a lot smoother than before. And as I said to you, these videos now behave as video layers. You can pretty much add any text or any other effects on top of it. I'll stop the animation. I'll simply create a new layer. Make sure it's starting from the start of your animation and let's add some text quickly. Maybe I'll type light the way. And there you have it. Now I'll also show you how you can export out the animation as a video file. For that, go to File, Export and select Render Video. Over here, make sure format is selected as H.264 and you can add in your specified dimensions, your frame rate and make sure work area is selected. Select your destination folder and select Render. Let's check out our video. Alright, so this is how you can very easily add any video overlays to your still images and make them interesting. And by the way, if you want to see how I created this photo manipulation, you can obviously go and check out the video. You can find the link in the description section and I think you'll like it. And if this video helps you in any way, please feel free to subscribe my channel so that it can help me create more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one and till then, enjoy creating.